Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen, and today we're jumping right into interior design and home decor trends for 2023. If you're planning any renovation project this year or planning to redecorate, it's always a good idea to know what's trending so that you don't accidentally make design decisions that are gonna date your home even more. But as always, trends do come and go, so always remember just to do what you really love to your home so that you'll enjoy your space long-term. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. I would say the main overall design trend that we're going to be highlighting this year is individualism, confidence, and personality-driven design, which means we're going to see a lot of great, unique interiors. It's all about how you can set your space apart from others and how you can really dress your home to be a perfect reflection of you. So don't feel boxed in with design rules. This year is all about breaking away and really coming up with a design that's going to be memorable and personal to you. It's all about bringing in unique colors and one-of-a-kind and furniture pieces and furniture layouts that really work for your specific space. I think we went through a very long phase of playing it safe with design where everyone picked similar color palettes, similar finishes, and then everyone's home really starts to look alike. So this year is all about setting your space apart, doing the opposite, and bringing individualism design back into your home. What's something that you're gonna do to your home this year that's gonna set your space apart from your neighbors? The encouragement of personality-driven design is definitely gonna bring out a ton of bold colors this year through paint, furniture, art, decor. You're gonna see bold, rich colors throughout all of it. These colors are really gonna create memorable spaces, they're gonna look dramatic, and they're definitely a way to show your personality. A lot of colors that are gonna be trending more are those colors that look like they've been around for decades, that are usually a little bit more rich, deep, and dark. You'll notice that a lot of the paint companies are releasing lines of paint that are their historic line, colors that are classic and timeless and really have this gorgeous regal look to them. So, because we've done a lot of gray and white throughout the years, we're moving on to some color, moving on to some dramatic looks with some bold choices. You can go all out with this with cabinetry and paint choices and built-in colors, more of those permanent choices, or you could play it safe and pick bold colors with your furniture or decor or artwork to implement bold choices in a smaller way. Now, when it comes to decor and furniture, the best way to create a unique space is actually by shopping secondhand, and it's never been more on trend than right now to shop secondhand, find thrifted, vintage, and antique pieces wherever you can. Facebook Marketplace, your local thrift store, a flea market, anywhere you can get your hands on something that's very one of a kind and different will create a very unique, bold space. This is such a great way of, first of all, being sustainable and recycling, but also saving money and creating a unique space all at once. It's a win-win always. You can find mid-century modern pieces that are super classic and will stand the test of time. You can find gorgeous traditional pieces that will add such character to your home home, and you can find really something in every single style. I love thrifting small things for around my home, like books and lamps and decor pieces, vases, ceramics, dishes, but I also like to thrift furniture. So if you can find any of those things, add them to your home and you will absolutely be on trend this year. Now, something you're gonna see a lot of this year, specifically in kitchen and bathroom design, is bold, thick marble. Anything with extreme veining, lots of contrast and color. Picking a marble that's gonna stand out and be memorable and kind of act as art to fill your space is going to be the choice this year. So you can pick a bold marble for your countertops, you can run it up your backsplash so you have that slab splash, that's very on trend this year. You can be bold with marble on your fireplace, in your bathroom, but also making the bold decision to create that thicker look on the edge. You can somewhat have your edge be waterfall down a little bit so that it creates the look of having a large, thick piece of marble as your countertop. The thicker the countertop, the better this year, so anything over three inches is really gonna give you that thick, bold look. Another kitchen design trend that you're gonna see a lot of this year, especially in new builds and renovations, innovations is the popularity of butler pantries. I am so excited about these because butler pantries solve all your kitchen problems. You can store all of your ugly appliances in there, you can do all of your cooking and prep in there, and it keeps your kitchen looking pristine and clean. So walk-in size pantries became very popular, and now we're going the extra mile and incorporating appliances, countertops, and full prep spaces in there. It's also a great way of kind of playing with 
design in a really fun way because you can play it safe in your large kitchen and you can have a lot more fun in your butler pantry because it's a smaller space. It's kind of like the powder room of your bathrooms. You can go bold with your cabinet color. You can do different design choices back there because it's a little bit more hidden away. So you're going to notice a ton of butler pantries being added into home floor plans this year. And I think it's the best decision we've ever made. Now here's one that you probably saw coming. If you were someone that didn't follow into the white and gray trend, you're probably still stuck in the beige and brown trend. And luckily for you, beige and brown are back. 2023 is all about the beautiful browns and brown is coming in through decor, furniture, paint colors, and brown is in. So if you have those dark brown cabinets, dark brown wood around your home, dark brown paint colors, keep them and actually add to them so that you can really create a trendy space this year. You're gonna notice more brown sofas, more brown side chairs, brown leather, brown paint, dark brown flooring, brown rugs. You're gonna notice that warm palette going throughout the entire home. And I think it really creates a comfortable, warm environment. So if you find that your space is looking a little bit sterile and gray or a little bit too cool tone, bring in those chocolatey browns, bring in those warm tones, mix them in there and your space will automatically be more on trend this year. Now we've been in the white furniture phase for quite a while now, but now we're in the dark furniture phase. 2023 is all about dark furniture, dark woods, dark upholstery. You're going to notice deeper colors. So instead of a big white sofa, you're going to notice darker grays, browns, navies, all of these deeper colors, which is gonna add a lot of elegance to your home, but it's definitely gonna switch up the look of it a bit. So my house is very light scale. I have all white furniture. Doesn't mean I'm changing that. I love all of my pieces. I'm keeping them as is. You're just gonna notice a lot less white furniture being sold and a lot more dark colored furniture being sold. If you are looking for new pieces this year, bring in those deep, bold colors because it will make your space on trend this year. I think this is great news for anyone that has pets or children because dark furniture is a lot easier to clean. So you won't have to worry about the same kind of mess that you would with lighter colored furniture. Another way of really creating a personality driven design in your home is implementing your hobbies. If you have extra rooms around your home, implement a hobby room. That could be a listening room. Listening rooms are becoming very popular this year for listening to music and podcasts. And they're kind of like a checkout room. So you can just sit there. You're not consuming visual content. You're just listening and kind of being in a calm space. Those are becoming very popular. You can have record players and speakers and comfortable seating in there with calm lighting. I've also seen a ton of craft rooms becoming big this year. Reading rooms, and libraries are also very popular. If you are a reader and really love that calm space, creating an elegant library space would be so timeless, classic, and just be the perfect addition to your home. But of course, we don't all have extra rooms in our home to dedicate to our hobbies. So this doesn't have to be a full space. It could be a little corner of your living room. It could be an extra built-in that you have in your space that really shows off your hobby and allows you a little corner of your space to call your own. You can really customize your home to work for you and add extra value into your life. Another bold design choice we're going to see a lot of this year is monochromatic rooms, which means when the paint color matches the trim, which matches the built-in color, the cabinetry, and sometimes even the furniture. So you get this overall color throughout the space that really makes your space look larger and it just engulfs you in this experience. So if you want to go really bold in a space, you can go for that monochromatic look. So playing with color that way and implementing it in a bold way in a specific space is going to be the thing to do this year. So you might have a space in your home already that's halfway there. Maybe you have a bold paint color. Extend that into your trim. Extend that into any built-ins you have in your space. Maybe even add one furniture piece or decor piece that's the same color and extend that design to make it look a little bit more monochromatic. I think it adds so much drama and so much impact into your space and it can pretty much just be done with paint. And lastly, I'm happy to say that gallery walls are still a big trend for 2023 and you're going to actually see them in bigger and bolder ways. So it's all about drama and impact and creating this lived in, collected, cozy feeling in your home. And gallery walls can do that. Instead of limiting your gallery wall in a small area, extend your gallery wall to fill the entire space. You can create so much drama 
through a staircase with a gallery wall. You can wrap it around a corner to really create nooks in your spaces. And you can span your gallery wall across tall, large walls to create instant drama. And it totally draws your eye up. It creates so much interest. And there's such a fun DIY thing that you can do in your home to make a huge impact. So if you have an existing gallery wall in your home, maybe think about expanding on it and making it even more dramatic, add larger artwork, mix up your frames, do something that's really gonna set your gallery wall apart. Always remember to keep a pretty small space between your frames. That will allow your gallery wall to look really full and intentional instead of having sporadic artwork place. So make sure that the spaces and gaps between your frames don't exceed six inches. If it goes any larger than that, it's gonna look a little bit too spread apart and kind of look like each piece is kind of floating. You want your gallery wall to come together. So make sure you keep those gaps pretty small and fill out your space that way. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope this gave you a better idea on what's gonna be trending this year and what kind of things you can do to your home to make sure that your design is on trend. Let me know down below in the comments what trend is your favorite, what's something that you absolutely wanna to apply to your home this year. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos this year. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.